But you know, tomorrow it's going to turn to the economy and it's going to turn to business. So I want to turn right now to Murray Energy CEO Robert Murray, who says the White House is responsible for destroying his business. Well, that's a pretty big accusation. What, how is the White House, in your view, affected your business specifically and business in the economy overall negatively? He's increased the costs of electricity in this country 30 some percent already. Mm -hmm. The plans that he has will increase the electricity costs another 30 some percent. Trish, that woman, that, that single woman that's raising a family on one income, her electric rates are going out of sight. That manufacturer of a product for the global marketplace can't compete. You know, we, we talked a lot about this because in this economy right now, uh, you look at the lack of inflation. We just really haven't had a tremendous amount of inflation. And certainly wages, they've gone absolutely nowhere. In fact, they haven't gone anywhere in 20 years. Um, but when it comes to some of the things that people need, to your point, electricity, food, rent, these costs are going up. They are. Uh, Trish, electricity reliable low-cost electricity is a staple of life it is a staple of life it is going out of sight mr obama the greatest destroyer america has ever had said in 2008 it's less that electric rates are going to skyrocket his words he's followed through on that and while people may not know that coal is four cents a kilowatt hour and the wind and solar that mr obama and Ms. Clinton advocate as 26 cents a kilowatt hour. They need to understand that. It gets 4 cents a kilowatt hour from the taxpayer in the 26 cents. It, sh it wouldn't even exist. So let me, let me ask you, outside of the electricity space, I mean, in terms of the regulations that he's put through, um, in, terms of, in terms of those, how has that hindered our economy and how has that affected business? The, the regulations are coming out so fast against the coal industry from the Obama administration. We cannot read them as fast as they're coming out. They're eliminating the mining of the coal. They're eliminating the utilization of the coal. And again, that's four cents a kilowatt hour electricity while he espouses his 26 cents. So he's destroying America, ma'am, but it's a human issue to me. You see, these are my coal miners. The industry had 200,000 employees before Obama. We're down to 60. I had 8,400 employees. I'm down to 5,300, and I just gave the rest of them the Warren Act notice last week. They're destroying us. They're destroying reliable, low-cost electricity. But the most important things are destroying so many lives. These are my miners. I know them by name. If they own anything, Trish, it's their home. And when two of them are laid off, they've got no one to sell that home to. So they can't be trained. And Hillary Clinton said, I'm going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. Quote. That was her quote. And, and she meant it. She said it boastfully. She said it with a smile. And then she said, I'm going to get $30 million and give it back to these communities. I can tell you, Trish, my coal miners don't want Hillary Clinton's welfare. They want jobs. And that's what America needs is jobs. And we've got to get them back. Coal is a staple of life. But they have half destroyed our industry. Our markets are now one half in price and volume of what they were. Well, Bob, you make an important point there, saying, you know, your miners, they don't want welfare, they want jobs. I that's think right. that that's something that's very inherent in, in American psychology. It's part of our DNA, right? Yeah, right. Nobody wants a handout. No. You want the chance to go and work and support yourself and support your family. And that's become an increasingly challenging thing to do now. Yes, ma'am. In, in fact, uh, Trish, Obama has destroyed this American dream for many sectors of this country with these regulations. And Hillary Clinton has said, quote, she will expand on them, her word. These people just want to work in honor and dignity, and they're being denied that. This is not the America that I cherish, Trish. Well, Bob, thank you very much for joining me. Good to thank have you, you here tonight. Thank you.